guys. Yeah, nice little shed down here in Tunzini. About 40 centimeters. And I got it on the tennis racket string. And you can see it hasn't bit me off, it held, held out. So, beautiful fish. Who wants to slide it out? So we had Zini Banks, a couple of us, uh, Jace and Reyes also here. Last night they fished, they got a nice sandy, honey and a couple of diamonds. Um, I couldn't fish because we waited for the, for the club, but they decided not to fish, but only a bit late when the action was over, so I didn't fish last night. Cuttlefish from Adcan. A little bit of mackerel inside. A little bit of cray tail. Gonna be low tide in about an hour. We had a good sleep at the Forest Lodge, the Tanzini Forest Lodge. Still the most central, nicest accommodation in this area for fishing dome food. Zini even up to Tugela and even running to Richards Bay. You're so nice and central in the area and just lovely there. The, the, one of the key factors there to me is the safety aspect. Always feel safe there. You can even fish at night all by yourself on the beach there. Before I tie it further, I want to get the hook through. I want to try and keep it just whole like this for now. There's a lot of ways you can actually, I'm sure, that you can tie this. And there's a lot of cuttlefish on the beach here. That's why I'm very keen to try this bait here. And uh, get a fish on the tournament. First fish on the tournament, the new tournament I just got. As you can see, lovely water you don't have to cross for here. With the banks now on the low tide. Look at all the oil in this cuttlefish. That's exactly what we want. How's it guys? Yeah, a little juvenile spinner. Hey, that was in five minutes I'm being chowed in. And with a circle hook, it's essential you let it go away and almost start pulling the rod out of your hand to set the hook. Could have been a smaller fish. Nah, let's give it time. Less anticipation. That's with the tournament on the dog fight. And uh, the braid we're testing, the dry braid grand. of the ugliest fishermen on the planet until we take out these. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit of weed still. It's defrosted but right? a bit more difficult time baits right? with it. Hi guys. Threw a mackerel with a forklin, yeah? Stood for about 15 minutes. Got pulled eventually flat. Fish seems a bit small. Uh, actually using my Daiwa J braid 30 pound. Paired with my Saltus 8000. On my Saltus Elite. 15 foot rhino, 6 to 8 ounce heavy. And yeah, this fish is in front, yeah. As you can see, the diamond there, Moo is actually helping me land it there. Managed to land this diamond. Um, put up a beautiful fight on 30 pound Daiwa J blade. 
upgrade with my salt is 8,000. And on my Grinder Elite 15 foot, 6 to 8 ounce, the heavy version of it. Just want to show you guys something quickly um, as to why we use circle hooks. Got that fish in the proper place. As you can see in the corner of the mouth, the tuna circle. That's the hook there. Shot guys. Okay, at least there's a bit of action as the tide reached low. There was one diamond. There's a patch of cold water. You can feel it's about a degree or two colder than uh, when we got here. So they're moving with that patch, but unfortunately the water is clean in the back. And uh, that will count against us. Hoping Sandy's or something come past as well. But uh, Ray and Jace has moved down the beach about 500 meters to see if they can find something there. But let's hold thumbs this bait might just do it with a cold patch coming past while it's there. If the weed doesn't pick it up. Yeah guys, as you can see the pressure is dropping and that cloud cover there indicates that the west is coming through. We got a high pressure uh, uh, on the south and a low pressure in the north. So the wind is moving, that pressure moves from a high pressure to a low pressure and that creates that type of effect and you find very soon the west will come through quite strong. We had looked at the barometer, the barometer is dropping very very fast. It's also another indication of a west coming through. Yeah, that's it guys, it's been taking another bait quickly before this comes through. We had day two at Zini Banks. <coughs> we went back to the forest lodge, we had a good rest. And we're back here, first throw. And we're on. Let's hope we can get him out. Can't say what it is at the moment. The tackle I'm using is my 50 pound j Brave. My Dogfight 8000. My 15 foot elite and uh, I've got a Tenno Mustard showing with the AFW Surflon 7x7 strand and it's working. guys as you can see we landed a sandy that was the target species and yeah chuffed first sandy for the season I broke the jinx on it as you can see the master channel soiling for him Ooh, right in the corner there easy like that nice female full of muscle and brute force best summer fish to catch This summer I realized most of my big fish I've got, I've got them on the 7x7 seven seven strand surf lawn. I notice they give a lot more movement into the water and it's much softer. It's more like nylon. So you guys should try it and hope you'll get more fish on it. The bite, bite's gone quiet, so I decided to try something different, or old red eye. On the very same chase I was fishing for the diamond. Uh, get a shot, let's see what happens. Guardian squid out, I think it's shad. Nothing wrong, fresh bait. <laughs> Good size. Good size shad. Nothing wrong with the size of uh, this baby. Oh, check. He's been uh, chomped by something. Nice size shad. Target 
species. Four throws, four miss. Fifth one, I got him. But I'm using all the wrong traces. I just made a bed shift trace and I went for it. Yeah, and I got him.